Hello and welcome to the Side One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video, Spot Micro Part 28, this is an update on progress through the software. I did have a mechanical failure, the back right hand wrist, the servo horn, which I had floating around here before, uh, failed on me and I Turn on my camera. There we go. The servo horn inside uh, in here uh, managed to strip out, and this was uh, causing the wrist to flex when it shouldn't have, and allowing the back end to drop. So I replaced that yesterday, and we're all back up and running again. So. Let's switch into the program. So if I go to, you'll see here, I have got the MPU6050 running. And if I give the robot a bit of a jostle, you can see that it does move a little bit. Okay, so what we've got here is if I click status on the robot and scroll down and have a look, we can see that the robot plane reference is showing X in the zero, Y is 48 uh, millimetres, so that is the feet of 48, the average of the feet is 48 millimetres in front of the centre of the robot, and the Z height is minus 86. Now we're looking at the Z height of the feet relative to the centre of the robot, so the feet are indeed 86 millimetres, nearly 87 below the centre of the robot. We have an, uh, an icon uh, setting of zero, so we're still wanting it to be in the middle. And we've got a centre of mass reference of minus 17, so it thinks the centre of mass is actually 17 millimetres off to one side, in this case to the left, and Y is 84 in front, which matches what we're seeing from the Y on the robot plane of reference. So let's uh, get the robot up to a standing position. So for that, we just issue the stand command. And you can now see the robot is standing. It's automatically pulled up a uh, reference and you can see here with the reference update our auto level and auto balance is turned off uh, this it's still saying we're 40 millimeters off the X and that Z is now 174 millimeters wonder why it put that up twice All right, so we were 17 millimetres off, now we're 40 millimetres off. Oh, that'll be at the end of the first move where it rotated. So in this case, X and Y are at zero for the robot planar reference. We're up at 197 millimetres, or the feet are below robot by 197 millimetres. The robot inertial measurement is saying another thing and it's reporting an 8 degree of roll on the robot. Now one of the things I have done is I've added in the ability, oh we've got auto balance turned on now. But I have not had an execute that. <laughs> And plainly, the robot was thinking it was a long way off where it was supposed to be. So how about I turn that off? Let's put the robot back into rest. And inspect for damage.
doesn't look like it took too much damage, if any. But these are the sorts of issues I'm looking for. I do have a bug somewhere uh, in translating information. So if I do another status, it knows where the feet are relative to the robot, and that's accurate. It's gone back to being X is at zero offset. So what you should know is this robot plane of reference, reference information, is taking the average of the X positions of each of the feet. So in the case of the front left, it'll be a negative value. The front right, it'll be a positive value. You add those two together and you'll get zero if they are centered. It's also adding the two back feet in and then it divides the result by four, which is the average of four feet. In this case, the four feet uh, are centered. The Y, of course, is the same thing in the Y axis. And yes, they are forward of the center position. So if you take this as being the center position, you'll see that this is very close to the center position while this is a long way forward. You add those two, this is slightly back, you get the average of those and it works out being, uh, what was it? 80, uh, 48 millimeters forward of center, which is about correct. But at the same time, X is still telling me it's minus 17 and Y is 84. So Y is twice as far forward as what it actually is. And I haven't quite worked out why that is. Sometimes it gets it right, sometimes it gets it wrong. So I am going to have to look into that further. It's telling me that the roll is currently at 2.8 and the pitch is at four degree, four and a half degrees forward. It's not enough to account for the errors I'm getting. So it's back into having a look at how it calculates the inertial reference uh, and its position. It does, however, uh, stand up and if I create a new one I've got it sitting quite well haven't quite got it back to standing from the sit position that's more a coding thing I've still got to work on and I'm working on the transitions going from one position to another because it doesn't follow the same path each time. So it is getting closer, but I still have bugs. That'll do for this short video. If you like these videos, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. It's a form of support that helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to help the channel further, I do have a Patreon account and you can join my patrons VIP Go Lucky and my builder patrons Elmrolls45 and White Wolf. I also have a Discord channel and I publish on the Discord regularly when I do release a video and updates about what's going on with this robot build. All the code for the robot is in my GitHub and there will be a link in the description to that code. And we'll see you in the next video.